That is our prime time matchup. But first, have you seen the scoring that's been going on around the league this week? I mean, what a time to be a scorer in the NBA. We're going to start with the guys who are in the 60-point club, right? Monday, Carl Anthony Towns had 62 against the Hornets in a loss. And then Devin Booker matched that number in a loss against the Pacers. So now on to the high rollers here. Monday, Joel Embiid dropped 70 points against the Spurs. That's the most by any player in 76ers history, passing Wilt's 68-point game. Anytime you pass Wilt, that's pretty noteworthy, Mr. Wilbon. And then last night, of course, Luka Magic took over in Atlanta, dropping 73 points against the Hawks. That's the most by any player in a game since Kobe Bryant's 81-point game. That was in 2006. But all right, we haven't seen numbers like this since the 60s. Bob, is this recent rise in scoring, is that good for the NBA? <laughs> If the fans like it, I don't, I don't like it. I'm just going to say what I don't like because um, I'm sitting up here and I get to do that. Um, <laughs> I think 50 is the new 40, 40 is the new 30, 60 is the new 50. It, I just think that um, it's too much. I like watching players play through contact. I'm not saying I love your Anthony Mason Nick days, but, but, but this is to me overcorrection, right? And I think this is all the rules are offensive-minded rules. Um, Sure, I don't. I love guys scoring a lot of points. That's great, but not having to play through contact. And the problem now is, you touch a guy, Will Bun, you go to the basket. I do that. They look at the big board. The last two minutes. Everybody's board, doing this. Everybody's doing this. The yeah. players say, "He touched my arm." Used to be, you know, guy touches your arm a little bit. Okay, that's not a foul. But now, look, I think if fans like it, Malika, it's gonna keep. It's, gonna, it's what it is. For me, Every though, sport. I, I prefer some physicality. That, that's just me. Every sport's gone this direction. They legislate out defense for the fans. This is not about strategy or X's and O's. This is about none of that. Baseball is now sure. trying to put action back in the game. Let's take out the defensive shifting. Theo Epstein was brought in to do this, to be the czar of improving the product. And what does that mean? It means more action, more offense, not just home runs, for the fans. We know football's legislated it out. Every quarterback gets up looking for a flag because he doesn't want to get hit. Right. Offense, they've legislated defense out of the game. The great 85 Bears team that is so beloved to me, they, those guys would be thrown out of the game for the hits. In the first quarter, they'd all be dismissed. And the NBA now, it's, it's 1962 all over again. I know fans love it. The league is going to stay in this direction, Bob, I think. Is it? Woj? I'm trying to get used to it. Um, I'm trying to get used to it. I'm, I'm sort of I'm closer to Bob because I'm like, come on. If, if, if everybody can score 70, then how special is it? Mm. The, the league's general managers have periodic calls where they talk about the state of the game. They had one yesterday before Devin Booker, before Luka Doncic escalated this scoring this yeah. week. And the message from the league office to the GMs was, we love this. There's what, what there's no discussion yeah, about. What there's yeah. no discussion about is uh, trying to bring this back the other way. Mm. They want more offense. The league has a TV rights deal that they're negotiating. They believe that fans love seeing this. And there's no conversation about making it any harder for the offense. And I think a couple factors for this league, and uh, Adam Silver was saying this to GMs yesterday, the fact that the resting rules they believe are working. There are more star players playing more games they are encouraging teams to continue with that and then obviously uh listen this is a league uh that wants to continue to see uh these kinds of this kinds of scoring it's not going back Stephen a looks skeptical because let's first, first of all a couple of things uh, i i'm i'm very upset that we start off the show with me and bob myers agreeing on something i don't <laughs> like it I don't like it at all, okay? But that we, we'll go with that for the moment. But in all seriousness, Long guys, show. in all seriousness, guys, Mike, let's not go overboard with this. The fans want this? No, the league wanted it. The league well, wanted the it. League want? but, but I just, they say it's because of the fans. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm saying the fans don't want guys getting mugged and no fouls getting caught. Right, okay. But the fans didn't want what we saw last night in Atlanta. Did you see that? Are you sure? I mean, that was a layup. That was just, listen, that was a it was like the All Star game. The, the, Atlanta, the Atlanta Hawks, no wonder why y'all stink. Did you see how they played defense last night? Me I too. mean, this is not. 
This is not Joel and B who played Billy Ball because you know what? You have a thin Victor Wimbignano on you. We understand that. We expect that. This is not a situation where Carl Anthony Towns dropped 58 in the first three quarters and then disappeared. It was an APB out for him in the fourth quarter and all of this other stuff. But the 58 points he scored in those first three quarters, a lot of those points, he was being challenged. This is not that. What transpired last night in Atlanta was disgraceful. It made me feel like, I, I mean, let's just go out and get somebody that don't want, you don't have to play defense? All you got to do is play offense. You don't have to play defense. That's what the hell took place in Atlanta last night. There's a difference. Don't tell me anybody wants that. No, you don't want to change it and go back to old times. But in the same breath, you don't mean for it to resemble the first three quarters at NBA All-Star Weekend, no, which is what last night looked like in Atlanta, Georgia. The Hawks, you should be ashamed of your damn self. You really should. Right now, currently in the NBA, four of the top ten all-time offenses, Indiana, Milwaukee, Boston, and the Los Angeles all Clippers, time. four of the ten, top ten all-time wow. in this current NBA season. I'll tell you what, um, a lot of us have been to playoff games. You know what I love? Tough playoff game, tough matchup. You watch somebody go to the basket. They get hit, and the referee just looks at them and gives them one of these, get up. Yes. And then and then I look at the guy next to me, I go, oh, they're going to call it like this. They're going to call it like this. And the, you watch the players in the game, and they see it. They look at each other, and they look at the ref, and the ref says, hey, that's what it's going to be tonight. Right. That's the game I want to see. Mm. Now, it doesn't we take away the offense. We may get to I it think it may. always kind of gets it there. It gets yeah. there. Yeah. But right. this is not even close. Real quick, here's what I don't want to hear. I don't, I'm tired of hearing already, this, this is the greatest scoring. This person is the greatest score. No. No. no, you can devalue scoring in right. any sport. And by the way, nobody now is playing with this. That's right. Yeah. How, okay. How many they playing with that? Because I know Bird up. and Jordan and Isaiah and Magic right. played this, with that. Right. This, this no pace, that. how many points Michael Jordan averaging a game? About 70. <laughs> well, and we've never to. seen two 70-point games <laughs> in a week before, and now we have it. <laughs> 